This is Severe MMA at the first Tanko Fighting Championships, the Victoria Warehouse, Manchester. We're alongside your winner, Javon Morrison. And man, it's the, the last fight didn't go your way you wanted. How happy are you with this one? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm a lot, I'm a lot happier. I was still happy in my last performance yeah. because it, it showed that I matured. I matured quite a lot being with uh, All Powers. Um, again, I just, I don't know why I'm, I lapsed of concentration in the last round, but I had it up in, in every round until that point. But yeah, there's nothing I could do about it, you know. Joe was a good opponent. Tonight, I, I made sure, because I'm in front of my own crowd, I trained my ass off for this, you know, so much. Every, there's so many guys on, on the on the card from the gym as well, so we're all pushing each other. We're all, you know, tough sparring sessions, hard sessions, even the stairs. And I know you've not had the easiest time keeping opponents, yeah. getting a keeping opponent. So is, was it any different for this one? It, it was. No, it wasn't, actually. I had an opponent um, most of the way through the fight camp, and I think it was... I think it was a Wednesday or the Thursday night. Uh, I got a message from Brendan saying my opponent pulled from the fight, um, and I think at the way in, they just managed to get an opponent. So yeah, it was it was a bit touch and go at first because I was like, why am I making weight? This is this has happened before. I've made weight and then you know never never fought. So that, and that's the worst part of it. You go through the pain and then nothing at the end. Now, Aiden Sheriff came in and on short notice, and, and and to be fair, you did the job that you needed to do with this yeah. kid because the moment that you took him to the floor, that was the end of the fight. Yeah. Did it feel, feel one once you got that top position, even the first way you had the arm locked, yeah. did you know he wasn't getting up? Could you feel that you were too I much could feel, I could feel that he, he, no matter how much he was moving, my position was really good. And, and, and obviously, I've been wrestling with some of the guys down at Y Club, so my wrestling is that I've gone you know, quite confident in it. And I understand that I've got to work, work the game before I look for any submission. So even though I had the arm, I thought about the arm bar, but because he was still moving, I wasn't really secure. Now, you know, a couple, couple of years ago, I'd have probably jumped all over it and lost it, but it just goes to show how much I've matured with these guys. So. It's bantamweight going to become the new, you know, the, you know, the, the flyweight cut is a bitch, I imagine. Yeah. Is Bantamweight going to be... I only did the flyweight cut once, like never yeah, again. Never. Um, yeah, I See, I'm, I'm screaming for a John Shank fight. I, I I contemplated like quitting MMA if I ever mm -hmm. had to fight flyweight again. I'm being honest, like <laughs> it, it was probably the most horrendous thing I've ever done. But um, bantamweight, I make it quite easily. So uh, it's just a case of keep you know living lean before the fight camps and just keep keep my cardio up and you know burn a bit of body fat and make it make it easy for myself. Yeah, a bit of body. Yeah. I love my I love my sweets, cakes and pizzas and stuff like that. That's my issue. Uh, we'll have some MMA. <laughs> Look, what's next for you, John? What do you um, next? I don't know. I want to sit down, um, speak with the guys, and see because there's, there's quite a few opportunities. There's quite a few shows that are, that are pro progressing. Obviously, we've got Tanko here. This yeah. is turning out to be amazing tonight. I was, I was quite surprised with the production and, and what the guys have put on. So, um, you know, even I'd, I'd say Tanko number two. You know, I'll yeah. be on there. Um, I'll be. I'm, I'm going to be away uh, with. Uh, for the SEC, so I would have liked to have fought in Manchester again, but um, I'm, I'm going to be away with the army for a couple of days, and then after that, uh, a couple of weeks for my annual camp. So uh, can't really make any other commitments. October, to November per time, perhaps. Well, I'm I'm going to New York to watch the UFC for a week in uh, in in. Uh, in, in November, so yeah, it's all right for some, so, isn't it? Yeah, the first first UFC I thought I had to be a piece of history. Amen. So yeah, Javon, other people want to talk to yeah. you. So one more question. I know you said you're going to let other people you want to sit and wait, but quite frankly, surely the quicker we can start getting a push for some titles on the regional shows. Yeah, definitely. You know, something that I spoke to. Um, I, you know, I'd like to take e FCC title or if there's you know they create a title for Tanko, you know you know some local show to start off with. Um, I know people at Bama's coming coming to Manchester in October, so I'd like to... Yeah, is it October? November. November. Um, I, I can't make... I will probably won't be able to make that, but i definitely like to throw my name in a hat for the February show. I think they've got one scheduled in February, so it'd be nice to get on, you know, the undercard of Obama show and, and just get out there, just do what my teammates are doing, like, you know, Kane and Brendan, so... Yeah, they're the guys to look up to at all power, so, yeah. Javon, it's always a pleasure catching up with you. I know my colleagues want a word with you. Congratulations you on much. the professional win. Yeah, thank you very much. I just want to throw out a big thank you to all, all my training partners, Chris and Monkey Nutrition. Uh, too many training partners to mention, but all the guys are all powers. Enough love. Thank you very much, guys.